All right, so new synth and a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings and Happy New Year to everyone out there. I did manage to pick up this Cousin Eddie Dickey at my favorite retrofestive.ca store. I'll put a link to that in the description. Comes with all of the wonderful choking feeling of a turtleneck, but without the sweatiness of having two sweaters on. So anyways, synthesizer video today. I'm just gonna show you a new synthesizer that just came out last week and it's called Noisy and it's based on noise. So it takes noise and shapes them or morphs them into the traditional waveforms that we're used to. And then because of this noise thing and putting it through a resonator, it achieves synthesizer sounds in a very different way. So Expressive E, company that's been around for a while now, and most people know it because of the Touche, which is this guy right here. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of this in this brief video, and then walk you through some of the sounds that I've been playing with in the last day. And then I hope to do a much longer in-depth video in the future. So I'll be showing you how the synthesizer works, how to craft your sounds, how to work with it with the Touche, but also how to work with it with any other controller. So for this little one, I got it hooked up to my Machine Jam. It's very nice working with the Machine Jam. You have eight sliders that you can control anything with in the software. Other than that, I'm just gonna scratch the surface of this software, give you a little taste, and then get back to the Christmas fun. So here is Noisy. So with that one, I'm just using chords on machine. And just triggering some beautiful sounding chords. And this patch is called Tinkerbell. And it's one of the many plucked mallet sounds in here. So it has a lot of those kind of sounds. And if we play around with this one a bit. And in this one, I was also playing with the dry and wet signal. So if you listen as it gets closer to the end of this little idea, I'm pulling the reverb out with the uh, machine jam. I've got a bass. This one is called Thick Bottom, one of the bass presets, loads of bass patches in here and the bases are super expressive. And of course you can control this with the eight rotary knobs in machine as well. So some really beautiful bass patches in this synth. And then I've got my synth lead here, which is called vowels. Very cool kind of talky formant kind of uh, synthesizer. <laughs> play that all together. It's just got such different sounds. It's definitely one of the most unique synthesizers I've played in the last few years. Loving the sounds and as you'll see later, I'm really loving it with this uh, Touche controller. So let's open up one more project. So you have these two different layers right here. We've got one layer one, layer two, and they both have their own sets of controls. And then of course you can run any kind of MIDI expression with the MIDI learn parameters right here. And then it runs inside a program called LIE if you're using the Touche controller. Anyways, we'll get into that stuff in a future video, but here is the Koto patch. And as I said, this thing is using noise and then it's shaping noise down here with these tuned resonators. The thing with Noisy is it's not, it uses some physical principles, but it's not meant to emulate actual string sounds. It's meant to be a synthesizer and I love that. Anyways, this is the Koto patch.
And then the other one that we've got in here is the bass. Really great bass sounds in the synth. So I'm using Machine Jam to control the four parameters that you would be able to control with something like the Touche. Beautiful synth bass sounds on this. Love it. Okay, let's go look at the one with the Lie and then we'll get back to the eggnog. Okay, here is my Cubase project. So this thing is beautiful. They sent this to me for free. I'm not getting paid to make this video, but they did send me the software and the controllers. But man, I'm telling you, this, this uh, new synthesizer and this controller is amazing. I love it. So here are the sounds that I've got inside Lie, which is the noisy plugin running inside their controller software for this device. Really cool software. I don't think this works properly inside machine. So I need to point that out. That's why I'm running this inside Cubase. So I'm going to find out more about how this could work with machine because that is a very important thing for my machine followers. But really listen to what you can do with this. Like it's so sensitive. So you could record the MIDI notes first and then come back and do your tapping. And it is just an inspiring little device. So here we have this one assigned to pitch. So it's going up a fifth and down a fifth. I'd love to see what somebody like Blue Lab Beats or FKJ would do with this kind of device if they're not working with it already. Beautiful, beautiful sounds in this software. And this one is called Tutti Flutti, probably my favorite lead that I've found already in this synthesizer. So check it out. I'll put some links in the description and then make sure you go watch. There's two videos. There's one where they walk through what the synthesizer is all about. It's a great video. And then the other one is a beautiful example of the presets and the patches. And it's really well done, really cool sounds and does a great job of showing what the software is all about. Anyways, just wanted to get a quick video in there before Christmas. I'm exhausted. It's been a crazy last few months, but uh, a lot of good things have happened in this year. And one of the best things has been my YouTube channel. And so thank you so much for the support that you guys have been giving me there. It's been an incredible experience. Happy holidays and all of that. And we'll see you in the next video.